Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is December 21st, 2017, and today is Thursday. So looking at the economic events of the day, just a few numbers that came out already at 446 South African time. And that's a Japanese monetary policy number that came out, almost a non-event. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. And then following up at 830 South African time, that's already Bank of Japan press conference came out. So two Japanese numbers came out. We'll look at them in just a moment. And then at 3.30 South African time, monthly CPI and retail sales monthly, that is, coming out of Canada. Not tremendously important, but something to keep an eye on. And then finally, USD quarterly GDP estimates or numbers coming out from the United States at 3.30. Uh, but in back of yesterday's tax reform pass, uh, you know some of the economic data that came out uh, previously you know this is almost a non-event so but you want to just make sure that you know what's going on during the day the schedule of the day so just keep an eye on these things as they unfold but let's look at what's been happening so we're looking here at the euro usd and it actually challenged yesterday's high of 1880-ish level and we broke above it and as you can see we're um we're just receding just a little bit below that okay so this is you know it's it's light trading okay and and as light trading it's a little bit more difficult to anticipate but that was a sharp uh rally that we had yesterday and then you know we're slowly just giving it back up a little bit here um as the week progresses going into friday tomorrow um you know not much to say about it okay we're at the top of this range so you may want to you know if you are long you want to you may want to unload some of your longs and you know might want to try to get short uh, closer to the 1880 level uh, we're only about 10 pips off uh, and just slowly you know perhaps build a uh, position um, as this may not continue this rally on the upside as we get into next week okay so keep an eye on this as it unfolds later today and see if it does retrace below the 1856 ish level so let's see if that does happen look at the gbp usd Donna Strong, okay, getting very weak here and selling off sharply uh, from 33.96 to 33.58. Okay, that's a 50 to 40 pip move uh, from this route, from this lack of consistency on the upside. So, you know, ultimately, like I said, we're in a range bound trading area. So just keep that in mind. Looking at the USD czar, let the dust settle, and we're trading at 12.72. Okay tremendous gain for the czar for one week okay just one week we went from 1349 to 1372 and we look like we're staying here okay um way below our averages not challenging the 1282 we may continue to receive just a little bit maybe 1262 ish level so keep an eye on that as well looking at the usd japanese yen not really much to say here we're closing in at the top of the channel here at 113 but nothing it was like a non-event this morning the monetary policy so you know nothing to really write home about here uh, except that we're getting closer to this resistance level of 1356 and let's see how that plays out if that continues now looking at the commodities gold didn't do much yesterday so i'm not going to cover it but looking at oil we receded a little bit here okay and it looks like you know people are talking about that inventories are at decent levels and you know and you see here the prices are waning here okay they're not continue our our current trend which was up okay so we've been really trading within this range 55 to 59 ish level okay and we're right now at 56 ish level uh so really nothing to write home about okay very choppy trading uh altogether looking at the usd cad the retail sales came out later today we didn't break out higher okay we failed this attempt on the last time to break above 128.73 and sure enough broke on the lower side now that's a 50 pip move it's not a massive move on the downside but keep on mind that you know it's just trickling okay it's not really trading with much volume much umph dow jones yesterday um sold off nicely um you know also based on the back of the dax we're trading at 24 745 just about 115 points off of our highs but still we could still see this rally into the end of the year and that's what i'd like to see uh end of the year uh going out with a bang would be nice but let's see if that for rates because it looks like it's developing up here a nice channel nice resistance level 24 887 but you know we still have about today tomorrow before christmas and then 
you know, Monday will be Christmas and then the week following that and then the following Monday will be a New Year's Day. So we still have way to go. Uh, even if we go up about 60 points a day, we'll hit 25,000. Let's see if we do for eight that. Looking at the DAX, uh, DAX sold off sharply. And this is this is what I'm talking about is that we didn't have continuation. It was a very choppy market, lower volume, and no consistency. There was no follow through on the upside. We're not trending. We're trading in a range, and every so often we, you know, look like we're going to take it above, and you know, we we take it even lower. Okay, uh, and this is a case in point. We gapped up, and we filled the gap on the downside, and then some. Okay, a little bit of a support here at 13069. Let's see if we hold this line and, and bounce off of it. I mean, because again, we still have a week of trading, so let's see if that actually fits. Looking at the JAC though, we've gotten firmer here. We've gotten a little bit stronger, 57400-ish level after you know coming in from 55 500-ish level. All right, that's that's a big retracement for uh, the JSC. So I'd like to see you know some continuation here. Maybe come at the end of the year, finish off at 53 500-ish level. Let's see if we get that. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.